Hello everybody, and welcome to Geek Street Craft, the YouTube show that teaches you how to make nerdy sewing projects and craft projects on a budget. This week we have a really, really cool one. It's how to make your own custom coffee mugs for the workplace or at home. This one still smells like a French vanilla latte because I brought it to work with me today. I know. Oh, oh, smell it. Smell it. Right. Well, this craft uh, definitely is easy and it is cheap. You start off with these mugs here. Uh, we got this at a dollar store for 96 cents, which doesn't make sense, Jacqueline. It's a dollar store. Why was it 96 cents, Jacqueline? They're lying and they're advertising. You start with these and with a few permanent markers and an oven, you can have your very own cup. Can I have that one back? Yes, it smells amazing, which is why I want it. This is the symbol for the Black Mesa Science Facility from the game Half-Life. Um, they're all over the desks there. Uh, if you've played the game, you know that they're, they're you can interact with just about anything. So it's really fun to grab these off the desk and throw them around and the sign. And are all like, Golden, put down my mug. But then you don't, and you throw it at their faces. Here is how you make your own custom mug. One of the first things that you're going to want to do is draw out what you want your image to be. Once you have that done, you can do a rough sketch on your mug, and then you can tape it. Taping it's pretty important, otherwise your lines won't look neat, and they can blur, and blurred lines are never good on your art piece. Once you have all of your tape in place, you can start doing your coloring of your borders. I recommend black Sharpie, but generally any permanent marker should work for this. Now, before you cover the inside, check and see if you should tape any of that first, just to make sure that your lines are as neat as possible. I had to tape the inside of Hal's eyeball. Then you can finish coloring it. It should take you about close to an hour if you're doing it right. Then it's time for you to do the baking. Now, the baking has some pretty important steps. One, you need to take the tape off before you put it in the oven. That's really, really important. Otherwise, you get gluey sticky cup and throw cup away. It's, it's not good. Don't do it. Once you have got your oven and your colored but tape-free mug, you need to put it into the cold oven, set it to bake at 420, and then let it get up to temperature. Once it's at temperature and your oven goes beep, you need to leave it there for 20 minutes. Otherwise, bad things happen. Keep it there for 20 minutes. Then after 20 minutes, turn your oven off and let it come back down to temperature. And you should have a completed cooled off mug. And so if you have done all of these steps right, you should have your very own custom mug. Now I made two, I did one uh, from Black Mesa, which you saw in the demo video. And then the one that you saw me making during that process uh, was this one. A, I thought it'd be really cool to have a mug that had Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey on one side, and then GLaDOS from Portal on the other. One thing that I think you guys uh, should definitely keep in mind is how long you bake them for, like I said in the video. What I accidentally did with this one, with GLaDOS, is I got it to temperature and then turned it off and took it out when it was done, and as a result, her eye, um, which should be yellow, is um, barely yellow, it's faded, and then this was a bright red on Hal and it faded down to a yellow. So what I'm probably going to have to do is then do another coat of red on Hal, and then another coat of yellow, or maybe a yellow, or paint red on GLaDOS so it turns down to red. Either way, just be careful of how, um, how the colors will blend once you get it hot. But that's the basics. Now you know how to make it, and you can go and uh, tell your friends how to make your very own custom mug. Please direct them to the video. Uh, we'd love more support. And also, likes and favorites do matter a lot uh, when doing YouTube. So we'd appreciate those. Until next week's craft, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.